Hey, what's going on guys? Ninja Brick here, back with another Phase Brick Live for you guys today. Um, I'm pretty sure this is number 19. We're going to jump in on to some Redwood, and I'm going to kind of talk to you guys about something. Usually when I do these, I just kind of play and talk about it. Um, but this, this one is has been brought to my attention recently. Um, I've been getting a lot of comments on videos, specifically um, the last couple of phase hit markers as well as the phase bricks. Or the, the, I think there was actually a comment on the last hit marker as well as on the um, the hit marker and shot in the same game. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because I actually had someone comment on both of those videos, the same person, who is relatively a new subscriber. And basically, I understand how, you know, maybe if you're a new subscriber, you don't kind of under, you don't really understand why I upload certain things. I mean, it happens to everybody, you know, because you haven't been around, you kind of just, you just started to tune in. Um, more recently, you don't really get the idea of why, you know, personally myself, upload certain things um, so I got a couple interesting comments um, I'm not going to say the name I'm just going to kind of talk about the comment briefly um, the comment on the hit marker was stop going for 360s you got to step up your game and they, they meant it you know as a serious note which is understandable but the fact that they didn't understand and this is kind of going back to a comment I got like a couple months ago um, I had actually gotten a couple months ago I got a comment saying you do realize these are in a private match right you know for phase breaks and hit markers and I was like yeah that's kind of the point the point of can I get a quad? yes I can um, the point of the phase brick hit marker series um, the hit, you know, the phase extras, the phase brick extras, stuff like that. The point of those was basically to kind of show progress over, you know, my career of, of gaming or trick shotting, and just to have fun with it. Um, it wasn't to show off how great of a trick shotter I am. I mean, compared to everybody else that I know is in the trick shotting community or the sniping community, they're they're pretty bad. I mean, it's, compared to them, it's pretty bad. I upload them because I like to see my progress. And there are a lot of of my viewers that really enjoy the shots. Um, some of them have even gone to the lengths of saying, you know, they may not be, you know, up to your standards, your standards as, as in my standards. But, you know, I do have viewers that enjoy watching the videos because I'm... They've admitted that I'm actually I'm at a higher skill level than I am, or than they are, so that's why they enjoy it. They enjoy it because they like to see my progress as well as they just they just like to see me upload, and they like to see me enjoy uploading certain things. So in phase hit markers, phase bricks, um, you know, phase brick lives, or just any video in general, if you see me, kind of go for a pretty you know low skill level type of shot like what, I, what I'm going for now it's because I try and have fun with it and this is my way of kind of sitting back relaxing having fun with it without having to be super stressful about you know making sure oh well you know I don't want my shots to be this bad or I want to you know I do want to put up quality videos and quality clips but at the same time I want to have fun with it and a lot of you seem to enjoy and understand that I am having fun with them, you, you, you know, without having to explain that it's not, like, really high skill of what I'm trying to, trying to do. Um, there are a lot of things where, and that time I actually did fail, but there's a lot of things where I try and have fun, but... To other people, it's like I'm just really bad. I have fun. Or at least I try my best to have fun, you know? And 
you know, the past couple videos I've gotten comments saying, you know, you know, why don't you do a, something other than a 360? In a sense, I mean, I did, I do say in the videos and the comments, and, or in the description, I keep saying, you know, positive or negative feedback always helps. You know, either way, it helps me out. And it does. I mean, I do take it, all the comments and the, you know, and everything into consideration. But at the end of the day, I'm going to work with it and work with the comments the best that I can. But to still, to still kind of keep, you know, how I play and, and just what my play style is. But still listen to your comments as well. So when I saw this comment of, you know, you need to do better than just a 360, or can you do something other than a 360 in one of these videos? Obviously, it was from someone who was a recent subscriber who didn't really understand the idea of why I upload these types of clips or these shots. And my response to that was kind of funny. It was the hit marker and a shot in the same game video that I put up a couple days ago. And. You know, the past couple of days I've actually been uploading kind of small clips like that. You guys saw the uh, the tom the straight up tomahawk that I hit marker Cerberus, like the one that I had died from, you know, like right before I threw it type thing. Um, I also uploaded actually the day before this I actually uploaded a um, an interesting. I've been playing a lot of hardcore because I just I just enjoy playing hardcore a lot, and I was just messing around on friend with the dragon, you know, not really, again, not really trying to, or just kind of messing around. Spawn in, you know, I, I spawned in, threw a, a straight up combat axe, nothing happened. Wasn't really expecting much anyway, um, and then I just jumped up over a wall took a random shot through another wall and hit someone. Um, you know, so... I don't know, I guess... I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore. Uh, I just want to hit something, too. Nope, I messed up. I didn't swap over. Can I hit this for like the fifth time ever? No. I've actually, I've attempted to go for that, that axe spot. Like online. Never seems to get it. I'm also doing this like mini series for myself. For my, you know, kind of like a mini goal type series. Where I try and hit online. I try and hit a combat axe on, you know, a, like a, a cross map combat axe on every single map in, the, in Black Ops 3. Um, so far I've gotten like three or four. I think there's the Havoc, like two, two on Fringe, a couple on Aquarium, um, and s just stuff like that. So I already have a couple. I'm kind of working towards it. Like every time I spawn in, at the beginning of the game, on whatever map it is, I'm just like, okay, well, I think, like, I've basically memorized the maps at this point, to basically where I can be like, okay, you know, I spawn in the beginning of a game, you know, the, the match countdown starts counting down, I'm like, okay, so where do I need to throw this combat axe, or, you know, what direction, and uh, what angle, or what height, do I need to throw it to be able to have at least somewhat of a chance of hitting it? Um, I think the, the, the greatest one for it, though, is, I think, is a tie between, um, Stronghold and Infection. The reason for this is because I've basically, like, in my head, I've straight up memorized the, the whole map layout to where I could just, you know, I could just look up, like with this, like, spun over here. And generally that's gonna land kind of in that back by the cabin area like I've basically memorized everything about just about every single map like I'll spawn in this is gonna land somewhere over there. like it's hard to explain but like so I'm kind of using that to, to my advantage 
Um, so far, I'm getting pretty good with directions. I just have to get the height right. So, uh, I'm s really that's like that's the same thing that happened to me in in last week's phase brick live. I hit marker during the video, and I think I hit marker that breach shot I was trying to go for forever. Um, that's what happens when I try and trick shot with the locust, I guess. But I'm trying to mix it up, trying different guns. Um, and not just trying to hit shots with the SVG, because that's basically like black, you know, like a DSR from Black Ops 2 type thing, so. Ah, uh, like it would be so nice to actually hit one of these. That was, that was fairly close. But yeah, just kind of going back to the whole thing of like why I upload these videos. It's for your entertainment because, you know, there may be one or two people out there that don't really understand the gist of it. You know, they don't really understand why I upload the the videos that I upload. But there are a lot of people that do, so. So this one's for you guys. Let's see if one of those two, that'd be nice. Okay, so a little short. Mm. Let's see here. Oh, no, no, go, go. Uh, didn't get the rotation right. Let's see if this works. Be advised. Mm. Like something like this. No, don't climb over. Or not. The auto climb, the auto mantle in this game is a little bit messed up. So if we can hit that, that'd be great. That was pretty bad. That was way off. Okay, sir. Let's see here. Okay, so the video's kind of coming, or the game's coming to an end here, guys, so I'm going to start to wrap it up a bit. Um, leave a like and a favor if you enjoy, subscribe if you're new, please leave any positive or negative feedback in the comment section below, either way it helps me out. All my social media stuff, such as Twitter and Twitch, will be in the description, as always. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video.